what should you expect after being blacklisted or match? So the match list is a list created by MasterCard and it stands for Member Alert to Control High Risk Merchants. The list was created by MasterCard as a means of compiling information on businesses and their owners when their merchant accounts have been terminated. Now this doesn't apply to people who had their accounts terminated due to them not using them. This is more of people who had their accounts terminated due to uh, poor handling of their accounts basically. So if you've been added to the match list, you're considered a high risk business and you will encounter difficulties when applying for a merchant account so it's going to be really really hard for you to uh, get any new merchant accounts moving forward so one of the main reasons people get placed on match is due to excessive chargebacks uh, that's pretty much why most people get placed on match but you could also be placed on match due to fraud selling illegal products such as uh, narcotics or weapons adult content identity theft illegal transactions so this is basically uh, if you were to steal credit cards and just charge them onto your account yourself account data compromise so if you were just making an account to basically steal people's information and sell it somewhere else. So if you've been placed on the match list, you're going to be there for five years unless you were placed there by mistake, in which case uh, you're going to have to call the merchant that placed you there. So let's just say you're applying for a new account and they tell you that you've been placed on match and they, you can't uh, open a new account until you've been removed from there. You're going to ask them uh, to give you the information of the person who placed you or the company who placed you on match. And then you're going to go ahead and talk to them, uh, clarify any misunderstanding that they had and see if that works. Now, if they don't want to remove you, you're basically stuck there for five years. You can't do anything about it. And at that point you have two options to use some sort of way to accept money without using a merchant account such as stripe or uh, paypal and then the other way is to use a high-risk merchant which i'll talk about in the next video and you should expect to be rejected pretty much by every good merchant processor and you're only limited to those two things that i mentioned so in the next video we're going to talk about you know what to do after you've been placed on match